welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you guys how to save between four to six thousand dollars on a weekend dining in house than going outdoor to dine at your favorite restaurant on a typical friday or saturday i would normally order some steam fish because i love steam fish i love to dine of steam fish with curry steam fish or some regular 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 jamaican style steam fish so today's a friday so on fridays and saturdays i go light right i would normally eat out or something but tonight i say hmm i have some fish in the fridge i'm kind of tired so i don't want to go on the road and get anything so i say ah, okay i have some fish in the fridge so i'm just going to cook up something i don't know what i'm cooking now I have an idea of what i'm going to make today so you guys see three pack of pastas here i have these in the cupboard for quite some time guys them not expire i have them i have them in there for um some i wasn't gonna film it but let's film this to show you guys cook on a weekend right so i have the pot on the stove to add the pastas to it i also have the vegetable steaming to add the fish to it as well I have some penny pasta and I also have the regular elbows. I'm not sure if I want to use the penny pasta or the elbows. Maybe I'll use... Uh... All right, before I tell you guys what I'm going to, I'm going to cook, maybe I'm going to do some steam fish, regular steam fish. I don't have any okra, I just have the vegetables. I'm going to do some regular steam fish maybe i'm going to do the coconut curry i'm not quite sure as yet maybe the curry coconut the coconut curry i'm not sure or maybe the steam fish in coconut sauce i'm not sure i'm just going to as i go along i'm going to feel the vibes me just add one more for add right yes yeah, so that's what i'm going to prepare so i'm going to add the pasta to the boiling water and i'm also going to check on the vegetables because they're steaming right now after they are almost halfway through i'll put the fish in i'll add the fish into the pot so let's head on over there this is how the vegetables are looking so far yeah then i'm going with them so and this is the water here to add the pasta all right so i have corn i have carrots i have um irish and i have a lot of stuff in here because i have the corns in it i have to give it some time to cook because you know the corns are tough right so we just have to allow this to go and cook yes yeah, so that's what's going on but i'm going to add some oil i'm going to add some cooking oil to prevent the pastas from sticking to the pot all right guys so i'm going to make the baked mac and cheese so i'm going to use the penny pasta and it's just it's just a small serving so i'm going to use this small pan and i'm going to add the pastas to the boiling water all right so for the baked mac and cheese i have three types of cheese i have mozzarella cheese i have cheddar cheese i also have edam cheese and i have some every cream but guys i'm not sure if this would enough cause i have i had this for baking it smell like it would I bought this for baking but i didn't end up using everything that's what i don't like with every cream you buy it for one purpose and then after that one time it's like it go bad boy smell good i guess so yeah we have every cream and we have two types of cheese i also have some cow's milk i have butter and i think that should be okay because the most important thing to for baked mac and cheese are the cheese um yes yeah, so that's it so we wait until the pasta is finished so we can place it into the oven and we'll also wait on the vegetables to become half done then we can pop the fish right in and just get everything all settled so we can have dinner in less than 30 minutes if you're liking the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and comment below and let us know what other videos you'd like to see guys you need to comment more and you need to talk to me and tell me what other videos you'd like to see so i can film more of those videos 
to be honest i really like to film videos but guys you are too silent so i don't really know what to film most of the times but when you give me an update or you recommend some videos like food food videos when you recommend more food videos to me then i can know what to do and what type of videos to film my hair is sticking out like this yes so don't forget to follow us also on instagram at tishane's kitchen yes it's tishane's it's not taishane it's tishane's kitchen right so follow us on instagram at tishane's kitchen we also post some short videos over there and you can also follow us on tiktok at tishane's kitchen as well or tish cooks whichever we also post short quick and easy um recipes over there as well okay, so i add the two fish them to the pot yes because they are half done so i'm just going to cover the pot and allow the fish them for going to steam until they are well done yep i'm just going to add like a season like a all-purpose fish season and them something there yes yes guys so i ended up doing the coconut curry don't worry don't worry don't worry it's going to come along very well don't worry until the meal is finished so i also have some pepper jack cheese so i'm going to also grate this pepper jack so we're going to use four types of cheese Do I need to use so much? No. Do I want to? Yes. Um, I had this cheese for a pizza that I made sometime this week. Was it this week? I think it was last week. I made a curry chicken pizza with pineapple and a sweet pepper. It was posted on Instagram at Tishane's Kitchen and it was also posted on another Instagram page that I have, Tishane's Bakery. If you don't know, we also bake pastries. Yes, we bake pastries as well. So if you want your pastries, send us a message. We do, we do bake pastries. Yeah. So this is a mozzarella cheese. I'm just going to do your mozzarella cheese give it a little stringy effect. Yeah. I'm just going to add a little bit. Not a lot. Because remember, we're only using it for this small thing. I'm going to choose between the idam and the cheddar cheese. I think I'm going to use the cheddar cheese. I'm going to save the idam. So my spouse was going to buy some food. But I didn't tell him that I was going to prepare some food. So I'm going to give him a surprise. All the cheese that I have. So I have here the pepper jack cheese. I have here the mozzarella cheese. And this is the cheddar cheese. So I'm going to combine all these cheese. These three cheese. I'm going to combine them into my baked mac and cheese. It's going to be so cheese delicious. All right. I'm so excited. Guys, as you can see me excited. Me excited bad, bad, bad. So you see whenever me talk about food, me excited bad. You see whenever me advice over most of these videos, my mouth is on water. Me excited bad, bad, bad. Um... If you guys don't know, I love to film videos, food videos. I love to do the voiceovers. I love to do the voiceovers. I love to edit the videos. I just love the video editing and to film the food videos. I'm also thinking about making a cookbook, but not really a cook cookbook, like a drink book, a punch book with 
punch and natural juice so i'm in the process of drafting the um the ingredients putting the ingredients together and by the end of 2023 going into 2024 maybe the um, the punch and natural juice blend the book would be out but i'm working on that as well and i also have uh organic hair and skincare brand so we also have that working on as well so i'm kind of busy but this is my first love so the pasta finish and you want to ensure that the pasta is not well cooked but half done because they don't want it too soft and saggy so what i did was i add some heavy cream not a lot because my spouse don't like the creamy and cheesy thing i don't like pasta and macaroni and them creamy creamy something they don't really like those stuff so i don't have a lot so i had and him don't like black pepper so i'm not gonna add any black pepper to it as well so i add a little bit of cream cheese i had i had a little bit of heavy cream i had a little bit of milk full cream and i also had some butter right so what i'm going to do next is to add the cheese and then i'm going to dump it right into the pan the base so i'm going to add some of the uh, pepper jack cheese so we have to save some um, to go into the pan. I'm also going to add some of the cheddar cheese and and the stringy stringy cheese. Yes, I'm going to add some of the mozzarella cheese. And I'm just going to mix it. some parsley flakes just mix it in half of the mac and cheese to the pan so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some of the cheese i'm going to add some of the cheese all the three types in that layer i'm going to add the remaining mac and cheese and the last set of cheese This is the last set of cheese so this is how it is looking and then i'm going to add some parsley flakes don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and leave a like and also guys follow us on instagram so this is how it is looking hey guys so warm from the oven we have here the coconut curry shrimp thing of guanya so i have some juice just some regular cran juice so i'm just gonna dive in excited my motor run water to take the mac and cheese and it's so so i must scoop up some all right so this is my plate this is the coconut curry i'm going with themselves right here so all right so guys, I'm going to dive in. I'm going to scoop it up. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to scoop it up. Woo! Awesome! Alright guys, look here, look here. Woo! Tastes good. All right, I'm gonna share up my local big clear so I'm gonna dive down in at this warm same way. The pan cheese, you know, see what I want? Them say presentation, but the full belly may look right here. So we have a coconut curry, 
the pumpkin the pumpkin was rich it dominate the coconut and we have a corn and right here so we have the baked mac and cheese very cheesy and delicious guys but just have to go dive right in see the fish there mm -hmm. yep the moment of the truth Cheesy, tastes very good. Tastes good. Mm. Go for the vegetable now. Mm -hmm. I can. You put not the sauce. I have a hint of spice, not a lot, but just the right amount of spice. Can cook. Okay, so good. I suppose they're right back at the camera and can wait for coming in the kitchen. Yes, it is so good. Let me Don't taste. forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't yet done so. Leave a comment below and let us know if you enjoy videos like this. And if you want to see more videos out like this, comment down below. Oh my god.